Hello everyone, I've got Kitty out here. It's rained off and on for the past few days and we hadn't gone out here and walked any, so she heard me, I think, messing with the stroller and she, boom, she was right there meowing. <laughs> so she was definitely wanting to come outside. And I thought I would do a garden update. It's been several days and I've got some growth, definitely, since the last time I showed y'all. Here's these two tomatoes, they're doing great. That's a, obviously a dwarf uh, tomato. Uh, that was my uh, volunteer. That one just came up in with the peppers. Um, I don't know how it got in there, but it did. So I thought I'd let it let it grow. It looks a lot better. You can tell all this new growth, how nice and green this is. Look at the old growth beforehand. You know, I put some grass around it. That'll help some too, and I gave it um, what was it I gave it? Uh, well, I put some uh, worm castings in the bottom of the holes for these, and then some blood meal on top. Uh, so you can tell that's a nice green, dark green color now on top. And this one's looking real good. I'm not for sure which this one is. I think it might be a black, a black beauty. Um, I think that's what they're called. As you can see, here's some blooms there here's some blooms starting right here looking real healthy so it goes to show you i mean you can grow uh things in pots and and they they'll do great um but the key is having a big enough pot for a plant this thing these this one here will definitely fill up that pot before it's over with 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 uh roots so if you have them in a small pot they get root bound really fast and then they're not getting the nutrients right and stuff that way they don't have any soil basically just it's like the soil disappears or something you know when it's all roots um so yeah i mean you you can pull some out of if you've had them a long time in a pot and it'll look like dirt you know on the top but when you pull it out all you see is roots you know it's like what happened did it eat the eat the dirt so they're looking really good thought I would show y'all them and then let's take kitty over here so she can see I added some more pans because I had a squirrel or something get in this one over here you'll see where the the plants are missing and I had to replant some uh, so trying to keep up with these weeds it's about impossible might just get my weed eater in between these or something to get everything but anyway everything's these are starting to really fill out now and uh, I'm trying to keep up with them see to guide them uh, through this without getting in a bind or anything um, there's a there's a flower on that one this one's looking much better it's still crooked but it doesn't matter I mean uh, Tomatoes are vines, you know. Uh, they'll do fine. Uh, it's still the stem's a little crooked, but it'll it'll fill out in that uh, cage. Yeah, they're starting to look much better. We've had a lot of rain, you know, so that sure has helped. I'm trying to get this one more trained up that way. There we go, like that. Yep. There's another bloom right there. Here's some. Here's another group that's gonna, oh, it could be uh, blooming soon. There's those. This one's starting to really grow here. Trying to get it. It's not big enough yet to go through the top. There's a couple blooms. This one over here is looking really good. I think this is a. I think this is a Cherokee purple. This one looks pretty good. They all look better than they did. Uh, you know when I first put them in, I was kind of thinking, ah, oh, they're kind of really lanky but they're they're starting to fill out they, we've got I've got uh, like branches you can see right here 
starting to grow from you know each place uh, I could probably take this one off but I don't want to try to do it without clippers you can break them off like but sometimes it'll tear the the skin of it all the way down if you pull on it and don't do it with a some clippers okay there's some more That one's not really filling out a whole lot yet. It will. And this one here is kind of the runt of all of them. It's doing okay. What I need to do next is give everybody some uh, diluted fish emulsion. Mix, mix a gallon up. Well, it'll take more than a gallon. I mean, mix a gallon at a time and water them with it. Uh, they'll, they'll really take off too after that. Um, those three back there, everything that's along the wall back there, this uh, uh, soffit or whatever you want to call it, an uh, overhang, uh, they don't exactly get as much water from the rain as they do from this, from the third one on up to the front. Uh, so I had to give them in the back some water today. But they look fine now. They were all droopy. All the peppers look great. Uh, they, they kind of grow slow, but they'll get there. See, and what I kind of like is I'm not seeing a bunch of flowers blooms because these need to grow more before they start having the peppers. So I, I've picked all the ones off that I've seen up until when I planted them. Uh, it's called deadheading. When you take off the blooms to keep, because what they'll do is They'll put all their energy into growing the the peppers, the same way with tomatoes. You know, they'll uh, they'll put all their energy into that, and they won't try to grow any bigger. And they need to be bigger so they can have more uh, peppers. If you if they're small, they're not going to have all that many on them. And I got a lot of the cucumbers have come up, and I planted some that Joe sent me. Uh, they they're white cucumbers from Joe's Outdoor Places. Uh, they're white and um, I went ahead and planted some in with these in different spots so they'll probably come up in a few days. But you can see a lot of them have, have come up. Let's see, I want to take a picture of this kitty over there. That's looking good. Uh, they're looking a lot better than they did. I, like I said, when I planted them, I thought, man, these are really lanky. Okay, uh, the, the uh, carrots are starting to come up. That's not one, though. See the little, I don't know if you can see those little bitty, they look like grass. Here's one. Right here. Looks like grass. Um, I thought I saw some more over here. Yep, right there. Yeah, you know, the first time I think I grew uh, carrots, I um, I was pulling them up. I don't know what I was expecting them to look like, but they look like grass. Looks like something might have been in here. I'd say a bird. The bird's been picking around a little bit because it ate a few of the seeds um, in here. My green beans, it ate a few of them. But since I put the pipe, well, I had that pie pan right there uh, when it happened. But this one gets in a bind a lot. It'll be like it'll be like this or something. And it probably wasn't moving around. Um, but there's the. Uh, Green beans, I planted a few more from where, especially that area, that's where a bird or something ate some. You can see it's, it's many, no plants there. Uh, so the carrots are definitely starting to come up. Here's one you can see better of them. Right here, let's not have to thin that part. I tried to uh, plant less so I could uh, 
uh, not have to thin it as much. It's a pain. It hurts my back to thin stuff just sitting here squatted down or been over trying to but it looks like something's been right here I still see some carrots under here though right there yeah something been picking around right there but there's still some carrot ones right right there and there Okay, the zucchini, most of them came up. Um, I had a couple of them that was, when they first came up and had little bitty leaves, I believe ants are, what, are what's eating them. Because they were just pieces of it laying there. And um, you know, there was no, uh, the soil hadn't have been, hasn't been, uh, you know, disturbed or anything, because there's ants, you can see them in here walking around uh, if you look hard enough, but I think that's what's happened. You can see like that okra one right there, that's okra. It's pretty much eat, been eaten. There's just one little leaf on it. Let me see what the other ones look like. This is the crimson, wait a minute, what is it called? Um, Clemson spineless over here. I planted those Texas Red Hill over where I was going to put the cute, uh, the uh, eggplants. I had to plant a couple more over here because I want three so I can pick the best out of three to leave. If you have three of these zucchini, like leave them like that, they'll just crowd each other out. They won't grow right. Um, some people might be able to, but I, I like them to have plenty of room, you know, to, to grow. It's a constant battle against this grass growing up through these. Yeah, there's some of those ants. It's not the little bitty black ones. They're a little bit bigger and they're like brown. So I think that cutter ants or something. And they will just chop everything down. There's a couple more. Zucchini, and I'll let them grow up a, a ways and then I'll pick the one that looks the healthiest out of them and uh, Sometime I've actually transferred some of the Transplanted some of the ones I take up in a pot and, I, and they actually grew some uh, Zucchini in a pot Here's the radishes You can see the empty spot All that all that right there that's where a squirrel or something was in here. I believe a squirrel because it was all dug up and everything. So I had to replant in these spots. I had to replant some more radishes. But they grow really fast. Something to the neat on this one, see? Holes in it. Um, they really do grow fast. And uh, I mean like in 30 days probably, I'll have radishes. I, I have planted radishes as many as three times in one season. This is the lettuce. They didn't mess it up too bad, just that one little space right there. Or the squirrel didn't. And mainly was digging around here. Really, it was probably looking for a nut instead of a... You can see some of those ants right down here. See them moving around? I don't know if they're after that or what they're doing. It's kind of hard to get rid of them, you know? I hate to just spray everywhere. I don't want, you know, bug spray to get on. Well, I have some that's that it doesn't hurt the plants uh, when you spray them. And then this little section here, I've got about, I don't know, five or six maybe six uh, okra planted and they'll take a while to come up I don't think that's one no it's bigger than that when it comes up so yeah we've got a ways to go but everything's you know coming along pretty nice uh, these should take off these green beans they grow real fast um, when the cucumbers get going they will too 
So, you're being awful patient, kitty. Let's see. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. I'm gonna have to mow the yard anytime now. In a few days. There's a rabbit. Yeah. Oh, my throat. Hold on a second, I need a drink. I am so congested, y'all, I'm sorry. <clears throat> my allergies just keep my sinuses draining all the time. It about chokes me. Okay. So really, I don't see much different out there in the way of flowers. Let me zoom in a little bit. Let's try 20. Let's see. Those will be flowers right there on the end. It's hard to hold this still. Uh, if you barely move it, it just like it jerks around when you have it on. Zoom it, you know, you know. zoom. Yeah, got some more that'll yeah. grow. Okay. Now. Let's walk a little. I've already took up a lot of time, kitty. Let's see if these, um, I believe the sunflowers got uh, eaten by bugs. I mean by ants or something. Because um, I saw one that had come up and it was just pieces of it laying there. I don't know why. There is chipmunks around in this area right here. There's one of their holes back here. Right there. See down in there? Hey, everybody. I don't think they would eat them when they come up, but it's possible. This one's dead. I don't see why. You can see all these little things coming up. These are the seeds I planted. They grow awful slow, I guess. They've been up for a while. I don't see one of the uh, sunflowers here. Not a one. I planted the whole pack uh, of them here. So I don't know if the ants got those or if... Um, if the uh, chipmunks or something, who knows? I hope some of these will work out. And I also planted, and it'll take a while for them to come up, I planted six gladiola bulbs in here about three days ago. But you can see all these. These will be flowers of some kind. All those, you see. I'm trying to keep it clear of this stuff here. That stuff grows all over everything, and it just, it just, covers it like kudzu or something it grows really fast I wish this one would have had more it's pretty it's only got that one on top <laughs> okay you having fun yeah it's about time to mow really but I'll tell you what though if you mow like too often there's really nothing wrong with that but it's expensive these days you know gas I mean it used to I remember us getting five dollars worth of gas and it lasted us two or three times now we get ten dollars worth and it lasts twice so it's like five dollars in gas just to mow of course, this is a big yard, I mean, 1.1 acres. It's pretty thick, too, the grass is. It's healthy, I mean, it's been so much rain, it's no wonder it's been growing fast. You having fun? Huh? Say, you having fun? Say meow. What you see? 
<coughs> you see something? Yeah, the, the, see, the seeds are coming up some. I hate about them sunflower seeds. I've always wanted to grow some sunflowers here. I think I've tried it before the same thing happened. It must be tasty sprouts. Oh, I think I've had uh, actual sunflower sprouts before. I think they it seems like it. Uh, and they were good. They look like crunchy. What we got up here? Where'd it go? There it is. Huh. Well, this tree on the right over here, I'm glad to see some leaves on it. That's more than was on it last year. I, I guess that means it's a little healthier than it was. I thought it was going to be dead, all of it. That big branch at the bottom that goes this way, it's pretty much dead. I'd like to have that that one branch, if nothing else, cut off to take some weight off of the rest of the tree. Because that's a huge branch. Did I leave that laying there? Yeah, at first I try I try my best to keep on top of the weeds, but eventually when everything gets all bushy over here, it's hard kind of to get in there and get you know to where you can pick pull everything up or use the hoe um might be able to use my weed eater though i mean that would knock them off at the top but they would still grow back pulling them out is the best thing to do you know roots and all now, i'm not going to use any kind of of course i'm not going to use any weed killer or anything my uh my brother, one year, uh, sprayed a bunch of weed killer. He was he was clearing it for me. I mean, he was going to till it, and he uh, sprayed a bunch of weed killer in there. And I uh, didn't think about it, the residue of it, you know, still being there when I planted, and everything died. <laughs> I didn't have hardly anything that year. Uh, a few of them survived. Maybe I probably had 18 of them and I think only like six survived um, it just killed and it was too late to try to grow anymore and everything so I just said it is what it is so I had to wait till the next year and I, I mixed a bunch of soil in with it and stuff and kept turning the soil it was fine the next year well, this is getting to be a little longer video because of the garden update, but we've had fun, haven't we, cootie? Say, what you doing? Huh? What you doing? Shay. Shay. Well, everybody, I think I'm going to go in, take kitty back in some things to do I like um, this it's like about uh, 730 at night or the evening uh, right now I kind of like walking that better uh, at that time because look she's sticking her paw <laughs> you're silly you silly you after daddy what you doing you gonna try to get out that way Huh? You're silly. Yes, you are. You can't get out. Don't try biting on it. You funny. She's killing me. Get back in there, you silly. See, now you got your paws stuck. <laughs> that was funny. Anyway, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this uh, garden update. And let's take a walk with Kitty. Uh, if you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. 
and hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning or night, wherever, whatever time it may be where you're at. And thanks so much for watching, and God bless.